Hi, I'm Sean Thomas, and this is Two Wheel Tips and Tech, brought to you in under two minutes. Today we're going to talk about DBC, or Dynamic Brake Control. Now, This is a very interesting feature that, as an on-road, off-road instructor, I have seen as a benefit both for experienced and new riders. But what exactly does Dynamic Brake Control do? Let's take a closer look at this technology. As motorcyclists, we know that there is a process for stopping a motorcycle. Typically, we roll off the throttle, apply the clutch, and apply the brakes. We do this so often that it eventually becomes muscle memory. But there are times when we do not follow this process, even though we typically should. For me, it's often when I'm learning a new skill, or riding very difficult terrain, or in an emergency braking situation. But whatever the reason, sometimes we get on the brakes hard without first rolling off the throttle or applying the clutch. When we do this, we find that the force of using the brakes to stop is now working directly against the power we are applying to move forward. With dynamic brake control, the system recognizes when you are braking aggressively and applying the throttle at the same time. It then electronically rolls off the throttle so that the two systems are not fighting against one another. The result is more effective braking. You can see here as I keep on the throttle, then aggressively apply the brake. Even though my throttle input is steady, the bike rolls off the throttle, allowing for more effective stopping power. Now there's a lot more to know about this technology, and it's a good idea to check your owner's manual for details on features and function so that you can better understand how it works for you. Well, there you have it, folks, a briefing on dynamic brake control. I'm Sean Thomas. Stay tuned for more Two Wheels, Two Minutes. Rock on.